How's it going boys? Uh, the Trigum's back and we're back at it again with another video. This one is going to be about my tips and tricks. I've been playing the game for a couple of thousands of hours and through this journey these are some of the things that I've learned and I would like to share these things with you guys. But without any further ado, let's jump right into them. Before we start, just have in mind that you might already know some of these tips and tricks, but a lot of people don't, and that is the purpose of this video. So you guys might see one or two that you guys already know, but anyways, here we go. The first one that we want to cover is going to be fast dismantle. Now, how do we fast dismantle? Well, that is easy. If you have, if you have changed your dismantling key, then probably will be a different key, but all you have to do is press control and hold control and then hold the key that you press to dismantle in this case as you guys see there it says press c plus left click to salvage but if you want to fast salvage you hold control and then you hold the c button and then you see there that it says quiz salvage and all you have to do then is press left click as you see right here right and you can quickly dismantle anything that you don't need on your inventory very very quick fast now know that if you are doing dismantling and there is a purple item that you like in the bundle be very careful because even purple items will be immediately dismantled unless uh you know unless you have them locked like such the only item that will not be like immediately dismantled will be a legendary item that one will still tell you hey this is a powerful item are you sure you want to dismantle it but anything that is green blue purple gray white whatever it is it will be immediately dismantled the second tip if let's say that you're in the middle of nowhere you were harvesting or collecting whatever you wanted to and you don't own a house or you just don't want to teleport to any of your houses right now and you want to teleport to your inn but you press a map and you're like oh well what the hell was that in anyways and then you start looking to see which one of the which one of the places have the little moon next to the you know next to that town so to avoid that all you can do is just press menu and recall to in and that's it that is an easy and fast way for you to recall to in without wasting time opening the map and finding out where your inn is located the third tip that i want to talk about is going to be swapping the weapons as efficiently and as quick as you can without ever making a mistake so just go over here to your setting go to key bindings and you're going to unbind weapon one and weapon two and then you're going to put a one key bind on swap active weapons whenever you put a key bind right here and you press that button you will cycle between both of your weapons without any issue and this avoids let's say that you're very used to having your fire staff in number one and your blunderbuss in number two but what if one day you have them like this all of a sudden and you have the fire staff in number two but since you're used to having the fire staff in number one at this point now you're pressing number two to switch to the blunderbuss just to realize that the blunderbuss was actually in place one so to avoid this kind of problem like i said just go to setting uh unbind weapon one and weapon two and just put one key to swap active weapons that way you swap between weapons without any issue whatsoever and it never making the mistake of swapping to the wrong weapon the next tip i want to talk about is a very very important tip as a matter of fact i wanted to make a full video about this but here we go so if you get a purple weapon from one of the opr boxes and it has two perks that you really really like you can go ahead and upgrade it to 600 and it will become legendary giving you a third random perk now these random perks have the same chances as if you were to craft them meaning that keen and vicious have a very high chance of popping off now this is the only way that you can do this in game get a, a, a random third perk and becoming legendary is with the opr boxes if you try to do this with a blue item it's not going to work it will only work with the purple items that have two perks Another tip, if you are ever going to go out there and farm raw resources, don't forget to play the song that gives you the extra yield. That one is called the fortune's favor. And also don't forget to use the proficiency booster that you can craft it either at the workshop or buy it in the marketplace for a very big boost of extra resources. 
Another tip that I want to talk about is about doing your dailies. I know this sounds pretty self-explanatory for a lot of you, but if you've been playing this game now for a while and you've been putting this on the side, I strongly recommend that you get back to them, alright? This is my main source of income. If you guys watch my stream, I do this every single day. I go to first light, I grab the fort in first light because if you guys didn't know, the fort in first light gives you a 10% global refining yield boost, meaning that whenever you are refining the Asmodiums or the runic leathers, you have a 10% extra chance on getting those things. Now, another thing that I strongly recommend is investing money on the refining gears. I know that some of them could be a little bit expensive, but if you are planning on playing this game for a little bit and you want to take it serious i really want you guys to consider on spending money and investing on this refining gear it does help a lot and it pays itself down the road very very quickly so you have 10 percent from the full set and you have 10 percent from the first light buff making you have and get almost every single time way more than just your 10 i know that sometimes you guys might get 11 but usually you can get 11 12 13 on a regular basis as long as you have the smelting or the refining gear plus the first light buff i strongly strongly recommend that you get those sets and you go ahead and you do your asmodium craft every single day the same with the glitter and ebony the phoenix weave and the runic leather this is how i make most of my money like no kidding so how do you get the resources to make this well if you have a little bit of you know money you can go ahead and start making some by orders that way you will save yourself a little bit of money for the orikako mangots and the other resources or if you have time to actually play the game you can go ahead and make yourself on a schedule where one day you farm mining stuff and then the next day you farm uh, skinning stuff and then you know etc etc until you have a full you know a, a good amount of resources that last you at least a week and if you guys watch my stream you guys know that i do this every time and whenever i need to craft or whenever i'm short on money i can just go ahead and sell a couple of these resources and you get the money back rather quickly and it's just that even by buying the resources out of the marketplace the raw resources and you come over over here and you make the you know you make the 10 and you have the possibility of making 11 12 or 13 right you will make a profit every single day even if you buy the resources through the marketplace without buy order right so imagine if you buy them with buy order you will save yourself a little bit more money and if you have the time you go and farm these resources now you're not you know you're not wasting any money on the resources you get yourself covered for at least a week period period and now you're actually stocking in these resources which they are just you know money and you guys like i said before whenever i need money i go to the i go to my storage i grab 20 asmodio i sell them and then i buy whatever i need and since we are talking about dailies the next daily that i recommend for for you guys to do and add to your daily routine is going to be the golden scarab farm the golden scarab farm this is this is very 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 good because it's an extra thing that we can do every single day for an amazing income of money i know that sometimes we're not might we might not get any golden scarab but sometimes we can get actually many of them i seen and heard people saying that they have gotten six and seven golden scarab in one day which is still ridiculous until this day because the maximum that I have gotten in one day is being four of them and i think that that is already pushing the limits if you are having issues with the golden scaring farm because of the acid pools are constantly killing you well you can come to the marketplace search for the paddings over here you can go ahead and buy uh you know you can buy up to five of these and put it on your armor but you don't really need five i found out that with three of them it's it's all you really need three of them it's enough for you to be able to resist any you know any chest that you're looting uh, and not getting enough damage by the acid pool to kill you and once you buy the, the paddings all you have to do is just put them on your gear as if you were to use a gem and as you guys can see i'm using three pieces of voivin 
to farm my my golden scarabs and that already has a lock in it and on top of that i put the acid resistance which this is all i need whenever i go farming golden scarabs i go ahead i put these three pieces right i have the lock and the acid resistance to be able to farm the golden scarabs quite easily and my favorite route to farm the golden scarabs is i teleport to this one over here first and i get these three right here then i come back into the shrine i teleport down here and as soon as i get down here i loot the chest that is right next to me and then i run a little bit down the road and i collect the one that is all the way up there then i run over here to the right side i get this three and sometimes i get this fourth one and whenever i get this fourth, now this fourth one right here it will not drop you a golden scarab the only one that can drop you a golden scarabs are the glyph chest and the golden chest right here right the golden chests have the highest chances of giving you the golden scarab and those are the ones that are around the sulfur pool and down here in the elite zone now the elite zone i'm not gonna cover it because usually you need a full group to go over there and farm this chest efficiently but this is for a solo fast efficient run that you don't take you know it doesn't take too much time well then from here i usually run all the way down the road I collect these two that are over here, then I make my way up to this one, I get that one, this one, this one, and this one, and like I said, if you guys want to go ahead and get the glyphs one, you can also make a run over here, and then jump down, find the two crocodiles that are down there, and then from there, you recall, and teleport to this one over here, all the way on the top, I collect the, the golden one, the glyph one, and then I go back into the shrine, and I teleport my way over here, if you have uh, finished some of the quests over here in the Brimstone Sand and you already discovered this teleportation device, then from here, I usually teleport to here to save myself a little bit of time. And from there, I come down here and I finish getting this four. If you are up for the challenge, then you can go ahead and make your way into the Scorpion Cave, get the three chests that are inside of the Scorpion Cave. And then whenever you're done, remember to make your way all the way to the top of the mountain. This is outside of the mountain, not inside. Make your way all the way to the top of the mountain to grab the, gla the last glyph chest right up there now as you guys notice i miss a couple of this chest right here right here and also this one and these two right the reason i skipped this one right here is because they're a little far from my uh you know usual route i know this one you can teleport over here and then get these three it's just that they're a little far from each other and usually this one takes me about five minutes just to get those three chests and this one it's also an elite zone that you can come here and if you want to efficiently farm this chest uh you can come with a you know with a group uh, this four are the one in the capri room you know the golden scarab and you guys can go there and get those anytime that is daytime and the golden scarab is dead and obviously you have the glyph uh, to open them so yeah this ones they also have a chance of dropping you the golden scarabs but it's not as high as the golden chest the golden chests are the one that you should be should be prioritizing and you should not skip those every single day and like i said that this should be another one one of those dailies that you can do uh, every single day to potentially make a pretty good amount of money if you want to sell them or if you are constantly using this for crafting as myself that is the way that i've been crafting because with the golden scarab crafting is now easier than it has ever been before and i'm actually enjoying crafting now with the golden scarab but well that was about it for my daily golden scarab route and this is what i do every single day but you guys can go ahead and make your own routes and whichever works for you but anyways there it is and that was it for us boys for now now i have a lot more tips and tricks but i wouldn't i didn't want to put them all in one video because it was going to be too long so instead we're just going to make several parts of tips and tricks and whenever we learn something new we put it together and then we have another video talking about parts and mr baggins he made another video about tips and tricks i will consider his to be the part one of this series i will put a link to his video in the description down below you guys should go check him out 100 i recommend it he covers some amazing things in his channel so you guys should go and check him out 
but for us that is really it if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys have any question go ahead and leave a comment down below and like it share it and subscribe you know if you guys uh have any off time during the day you guys can check my stream it will probably come somewhere down here but i will also put a link down below or if you guys haven't checked my youtube channel it has some great information there as well which you guys should also check it out but anyways cheers boys